This is chapter 12 in Meditation Express, Stress Relief in 60 Seconds Flat. Affirmative action, what you pay attention to in your life increases. Now you notice this is not about the law of attraction, but this chapter is. Nancy has been teaching prosperity workshops, believing in the adage that you teach best that which you are most and that which you most need to learn. The the that okay. I this I picked a good day for reciting. In this chapter, she shares her ongoing experiences of moving from a poverty mentality, never believing that she had enough time, money, self confidence, you name it, to an abundance mentality, knowing how to create wealth and health on many levels. Knowing that prosperity includes but is not limited to financial abundance, Nancy shares her insights for removing limitations, financial or otherwise, and gaining freedom to fulfill your dreams. We spell wealth with W-H, W-H-E-L, W-H-E-A-L-T-H, with W-H because we feel that the term is then all-inclusive, encompassing financial, mental, emotional, and physical aspects. If your inner dialogue keeps you focused on not having enough, then that is what you will continue to manifest. If, however, your inner dialogue is focused on abundance, then that is what you will experience. Make a list. I'm always saying that, right? I'm always telling you people, make a list. Make lists. Make a list of the areas in your life where you think you don't have enough. In other words, where you have a poverty mentality. For example, I don't have enough time, love, clothes, self-esteem, respect, support, health, money, education, or freedom. You're bound to come up with at least one, right? Be aware of your ongoing inner dialogue. Is it reinforcing your poverty mentality? If so, you can make affirmations to create an abundance mentality now in the present moment. An affirmation is not meant to be pie in the sky or an instant fix, but it is a statement of your intent. Every day for 19 years, treasure hunter Mel Fisher affirmed to himself and his crew, today is the day. It ultimately was when he discovered the mother load of the sunken Spanish galleon Atotka, valued at over $400 million. Affirmations need to be stated in the positive and present tense. For example, I am now creating an abundance mentality, not I don't have a poverty mentality. And repeat it continuously. Use an affirmation to replace any thought from your poverty mentality or to enhance your abundance mentality. More examples. An abundance of time flows through me. I am worthy of respect and love. My body is now healing itself. I am now attracting all the money I need and want. I am now free to pursue my own interests. One of the earliest and still most effective affirmations was coined by Emile, uh, Emile Cue, a French psychotherapist. Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. You've heard that one, right? Every day in every way, I'm getting better and better. For those of you who didn't hear it from the psychologist, uh, or psychotherapist, rather, you probably heard it from the Seth writings. He used this to heal physical ailments, but we find it to be universally applicable. Here are some of our wealth affirmations. I know I can, I know I can, I know I can. Ah, life is good. I am now rich in body, mind, and spirit. Nancy's insights are from a woman's perspective, but this chapter is geared for anyone who has issues around prosperity, power, and wealth, or is more comfortable with giving than receiving. That's a woman problem more than anything. The meditations in this chapter include walking meditations, affirmations, and the opening of a new mindset. So the first remedy, riches are mental, not material. So said B.C. Forbes. To take your own steps for affirmative action, do this walking meditation, meaning while you're walking. Whether you're walking from your desk to the elevator or on a 20-minute power walk, 
Use your inner dialogue to consciously repeat any of your affirmations to yourself instead of letting your thoughts roll off into the future or back into your former poverty mentality. Exercising your power of affirmative thinking is just as important as exercising your physical body. Your results will be subtle but powerful. You see, this is a common problem. This is a common issue that people are always putting themselves in these boxes of lack. We are used to giving what we can't get ourselves to receive. We feel guilty for receiving or for taking. And then we, when we feel that way and we don't accept help or we don't take and we just give, then we throw ourselves out of balance. It's like trying to inhale without exhaling or vice versa. You can't. You drop dead. You have to be able to have a balance there. So take these affirmations and create one that is your own, one that feels comfortable to you. And when you go for a walk, say it over and over again. What is the one that I use when I get nervous about money? Money comes to me frequently and easily. Money comes to me frequently and easily. Money comes to me frequently and, and easily. And then I let it go. I don't say it all day long. I don't have to. But as soon as I say that, everything that's old poverty mentality just falls away. I start to relax. And I can get back to focusing on that which I desire. Now, just so that you know, this book came out many years before the movie The Secret. Obviously, people have been teaching... Uh, and the law of attraction under many different names uh, way before the secret was made and when you know about that you realize the secret's no secret the only problem with it is that people give up on it they stop taking control of their life or responsibility for their choices and they end up feeling down the dumps or creating uh, very unsavory circumstances so if you have Jude, see Jude is saying I hate my connection well, instead of saying, I hate my connection, say, I will soon have a better connection. Or, I'm getting a better connection. I am getting, I am getting, it is straightening out. I love the next connection I'm going to be making, etc., etc. Well, no, it's not a lie. You see, it's not a lie at all. Getting a better connection. Because Jude has the ability to get a better connection by changing his location. So he may not be able to manifest that today, but he may be able to manifest that beautifully a month from today. It all depends on where he puts his focus. So let me go ahead and save this recording.